Hello, welcome to another Rivals of Ixalan draft, and uh, got some interesting choices. So, this is put it on the bottom of its owner's library. Take a turn after this one if you have a send. So you can kind of go infinite if it's your last card, but it seems quite slow in draft. It's a two mana one one that does nothing until you hit ten dudes. Not too excited about that. Other than that, we have Legion's Lieutenant, which is just busted. One of the better cards in the format. Crashing Tide, Hunt the Weak, Moment of Craving, Recover, and such. So it's actually really tough, because if we take Moment of Craving, then we're passing Legion Lieutenant. If we take Lieutenant, we're passing Moment of Craving. Also Crashing Tide, no, I don't... Hunt the Weak is fine. Lieutenant's so good, though. I think I'm just going to take the Lieutenant. This could go in a lot of different decks. This card's just busted. Alright, well, we could take Martyr of Dusk. What is Voracious Vampire? Plus one, plus one, and Menace until end of turn. Paladin of Atonement. It's a two mana, one, one. Yeah, this card I don't like very much. Um, other than that, Swift Warden. Target Merfolk gains Hexproof. Whoa, that's cool. Where are all these merfolk when I was drafting the last deck? Um, so I'm deciding between Voracious Vampire and Martyr of Dusk. I think I'll take the Dusk, given that I already have the Lieutenant. I kind of want to have a lot of little vampires. Uh, rather than, you know, some clunky three drops in. This card is one of the better roll fillers. It's a 2 mana 2 1 that replaces itself, which I think is just very good. Who else is in this draft league? I have demise. Okay. So not much for us. Cleansing Ray is Moment of Triumph, which I think is what I'll be taking. Also, Hunt the Weak, the second one. Pretty rough to see. Uh, Dinosaur Hunter is nice. Just one of the better two drops. I don't understand Pitiless Plunderer. I don't think it's very good. It's just a four mana one four, and the ability is like okay. If you're like a really controlling deck, I can see it being good. But I'll take Moment of Triumph. Wow. Crested Herdcaller. Can we just talk about how I got past Hunt the Week, Hunt the Week into Crested Herdcaller? <sighs> this always happens in this format. You start doing something, and then if you're even cut a little bit, this has to be a sign, right? This has to be a sign. Okay, there's a frilled death spitter. Check the foundations. Another moment of triumph, which could be good if we are green white dinos. Which I guess I would like to be. Really tough. Both of these cards are very good if we're in red green dinos. That's, I actually don't know how to hedge here, because seeing this so late is weird, but I just passed two really good green removal spells. <laughs> I guess Moment of Triumph I'll take. None of these cards are, like, super amazing. Uh... Now there's Divine Verdict if we want... I guess that's the best hedge. I think... Grasping Scoundrel goes best with the Moment of Triumph in the cards we have. But it's also possible we need, we're supposed to be in green-white dinos. And so I think Divine Verdict is a pretty good middle ground, where if we're in green-white dinos, this card will be okay, whereas this card is just bad. And if we're in, you know, Vampires, I think this card will be good as well in that format, or in that deck. Wow. Could have picked up another Grasping Scoundrel. Forsaken Sanctuary as well. Ay ay ay. This format's really tough when the packs go weird like they are this draft. I take the Scoundrel? It's so good with these Moment of Triumphs. An early play just hits really hard. I guess again, Sun Sentinel is a good hedge. Um, we're mostly white. This fits into the green white dino deck as well as the vampires deck. Okay. 
Okay, I think seeing this means Vampires is open. Because these are all quite good cards. Um, Squire's Devotion is very good. Penguin Glorifier puts a counter on a Vampire. And Voracious Vampire is just good. Um, Dusk. Double Moment of Triumph. I think with Double Moment of Triumph, I want to be kind of low to the ground. Actually, don't know which of these cards is better. I'm going to take the Voracious Vampire. I think Menace plus Moment of Triumph has, you know, can lead itself to a lot of blowouts. Here I'm going to take Vampire Revenant because it's a vampire. Um, Dusk Charger. I guess could be good. I just don't like Strider Harness. Cleansing Ray for the sideboard. Mirror Match. All right, so we missed up on some really good picks, but seeing this so late was like very bizarre. I think this is like one of the better cards in green dinosaurs. It's six power trample between two different bodies for five mana. Just busted. But I think as far as hedging our bets, we did as good as like as good as we could. Um, because yeah, if we just if it just turned out that vampires was super cut, then we were screwed. But it turns out it's pretty open. We saw them very late in pack in this first pack. Maybe we can pick up another Lord in pack two. Don't want this played against us. I don't want to play this. I think one Divine Verdict is fine. What is this artwork? That is arm? So, like, hand is going there. Did you just, like, throw a glowing egg at the dinosaur? I think so. Is that a glowing egg? Or is that like a tat? I can't tell if this region is attached to the dinosaur. It's like f smoke, like he threw it. Or if this is like a spear that he's poking it with, like a staff. You guys know? This, Cause this looks like a staff going out from his hand. Actually, yeah, I think that's what it is. That's his hand and that's a staff and he's like poking him to death. Oh my gosh, that would have been amazing in my last deck. I think we're just going to take Martyr of Dusk. Not really into Arterial Flow. Wow, Bombard is great. Deadeye Brawler is also very good. But we'll take some Vamps. Ooh, okay. Got some choices. Uh, Dusk Legion Zealot or Impale? This is like the bread and butter of vampires. Gives us some warm bodies to go alongside, like cards like Legion Lieutenant, Moment of Triumph. But Impale's just really good. Just I don't know if this is gonna come around, because most people in black are gonna want both of these. I don't know what's better. I'm gonna take Impale. I just don't have the removal yet, and I have some dorky creatures. Okay, now I think I take the Zealot over Squire's Devotion. Water of Dusk, because I have two of these, but I think Zealot is pretty good too, and I'll take Forsaken Sanctuary later, maybe. But this card's nice. Yeah, and I'd rather have Impale plus Zealot instead of just double Zealot, maybe? Although, if you just get like five of these, your deck's pretty solid. You just flow through your deck, you have a ton of amps. Okay, what do you do? Golden Guardian. Fight a creature. That's kind of cool. Um, so we have Luminous Bonds or Oath Sworn Vampire. So you can cast them if you've gained life. We have Double Moment of Triumph. Martyr of Dusk makes a life gain vampire. I keep getting text. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's between Luminous Bonds and Oath Sworn Vampire. I think this card's more likely to come around, and Luminous Bonds is just very good. Yeah, because not many people want the 2-mana two 2-2 two -two that enters tapped and you have to gain life and all this stuff. Especially if Vampires is kind of open. But, like, green-white dinos would want this. Pretty much anyone in white wants this card. Alright, let's see one more Legion Lieutenant this pack, please.
I would kind of make this deck just busted. Well, huh, we got another Impale. Another Martyr of Dusk. But I mean, Impale's just really good. Probably don't need Divine Verdict if we have this many Impales. Dusk. Pretty good, but hopefully it'll come around. Um, so Silent Gravestone doesn't do anything. I see red's pretty late in this pack. Um, so Grasping Scoundrel or Sun Sentinel? I think I want the Scoundrel. Yeah, this deck looks to be like kind of anemic beatdowns. Just a lot of 1-1s. One uh, ooh, Famished Paladin could be good. We need a few more ways to gain life, but Double Moment of Triumph is already a decent start. Okay, Sanguine Glorifier. Don't need Mastermind's Acquisition. Right, it's nice drafting an archetype that's open. <laughs> Nobody's like moving in on me or anything. I'd like to replace these two. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers. I don't, I don't want this foil fall archer. Um, it's possible Gruesome Fate is good. It depends on how many token producers we get in pack three. I think in general this card is quite bad. But if we get like two or three of the Queen's Commissions, this card gets pretty good. Um, so like at three mana deal three to the face, not playable. If it starts dealing like five to the face on average, or like maybe six, like that it starts getting actually like a decent card. It is kind of win more, but that's why I think it's only good if you're like really swarming the board and you need a little bit of reach to get the last few points of damage in. But we do have a lot of removal already. Um, I think this type of effect is better if you're just like all creatures and not much removal. Because um, the way it's going to play out is we're going to spend our removal making the way for creatures to get in. Um, and then this type of effect is just less useful than more removal. But if you haven't killed any creatures, then this is kind of like giving all your guys unblockable. That's my take anyway. Um, right now we don't have that many creatures, so... Ooh, Forsaken Sanctuary over another Divine Verdict. Pretty, pretty easy pickup. I feel like in this format they should have just made the lands do one damage to an opponent. Because they made them gain life in, uh, I think, Cons of Tarkir. I think that was the format. So they could have... <laughs> would have just fit the theme, right? Ooh, do I play this? I might play this. I'll try it out. I don't know how good it is. Raptor Companion might just be better, but... At the very least, this is 3 mana with a 4 point life swing, and it can also get you ahead on cards. I think as a 1 of it's acceptable. It gives you a little bit more reach, and I like this type of an effect much better than something like Gruesome Fate. Because it, you know, it also gets rid of their cards. You're not just down a card. Uh, Dark Inquiry. My opponent has like a really busted rare, I could maybe put it in. Dude, why? This card's so good. Why is it going so late? Rider Harness, don't need it, don't need it. All right, we need some pack three. We don't need a lot of pack three, but we need some action in pack three. Or, hear me out, zero action. How about that? I'll take the Skittering Heartstopper, I guess. Man, <laughs> so brutal. We just open some vampire cards, please. <laughs> uh, ooh, okay. Danto Vanguard's very, very good. I know Deadeye Tracker's good too, but like, if you just land this on turn two, it's so hard to kill. Although now there is Luminous Bonds. There are ways to kill it, but it's still a very good card in this format. Uh, Queen's Base Soldier is fine. I don't think I want to be Dusk Legion Dreadnoughting. How much incentive do I actually have to be vampires? Penguin Glorifier, Legion Lieutenant, Aerial Flow, Voracious Vampire, that's about it. 
All right, I'll take it. We'll be happy about it, but I'll take it. Um, so sword point diplomacy is like meh. <laughs> it's pretty good if you're like really beating down, because it can like on average it'll be like you draw two lands and hit them for three, which is whatever. Maybe I'm better off just taking the tormentor. Maybe maybe this wheels and I still need playables. I'll take it. But this is just a decent three drop in our deck. Here, let's see, pirate, vampire, dinosaur, merfolk. So I only have pirate, vampire. I don't think it's worth playing for that. You could take raptor companion. I, I think I like that. We're just kind of early aggressive. Costly plunder could be good. Let's take the companion. Man, there's like nothing for us here. Um, this card could be good in our deck. We have a lot of like, you know, low power creature and it lets us trade up for dinosaurs and such. I think someone did move in on Vampires Pack 2, which is weird because it was so open Pack 1. Well, our deck is pretty medium. Vampire Zeal? That actually is pretty good in this deck. I think it's better than more two drops. Skidding Heart Thumper I would play, but just the tricks. With all of our two drops, the first strike is really important when we have like two ones. see come on monitor no maybe this is a dust charger deck i guess we do have enough playables already i'm just seeing what there is to cut kind of like the revenant glorifier is good cutthroat actually could be nice all right this deck's not too bad uh upgrading this to a queen's base soldier could be good just the first strike and the pump from the lieutenant is pretty relevant but, I mean, we definitely have outs just to be early aggressive because we have three combat tricks and just a lot of two drops. I'd like to see maybe one more two drop. <clears throat> or a uh, Queen's Commission. I think it's too late to pick that card up, but I would like to see that card. Oh, this is the first pack. Well, there's Queen's Base Soldier, so we got our two drop green. It's really sad to see Shapers of Nature and Jaded Guardian going so late. Like, what? Who, who's passing these cards? Uh, nobody gets this Jade Guardian. Urgent Growth. You know what? Prying Braid could be good in this deck. Not saying it is, but it, it's possible. Also, this might very well be a Cobbled Wings deck. That could be actually pretty interesting. Is it, we, we have a lot of like two ones and you know, if they have a lot of fatty dudes on the ground, ugh, foil basic lands feel so bad in a pack. I feel like they should just make pack, uh, basic lands not show up in packs. Alright, I think I want to play 16 lands with this deck. 15 seems a bit low given how many 4 drops we have. Maybe I cut the cutthroat and I side it in when I see that they have a lot of fatties. I think that makes sense. But otherwise it's just kind of like a 4 mana 3-3 three, three, which isn't amazing. I have ways to give myself reach anyway. Okay, I'm down. So we're gonna play one Forsaken Sanctuary, and then more swamps because we have Arterial Flow. Sure. I'm gonna just make sure this is how this works. So we have Equal and Sort by CMC. I think all of our creatures early are black, right? Yeah, so we want at least one more swamp to make sure we can hit that. Okay, cool. See you guys in round one. 